Hey guys, Joe for 1UP Reviews, and today we've got a club review and the packaging of the Crux Echo. Before we get to this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank the subscribers. New and old, without you guys, we can't do this. So thank you. Let's go. And today we've got a look at the Crocs Echo. We got this in the khaki colorway, and we got this in the UK size seven. Uh, I have to get you know, because the sizing's on here, actually. So we got this in UK size uh, seven. It's a European forty one, forty two, and it's a US eight men's. So here we are on the um, packaging, as you can see, and that's about it. Really, um, if you are new to our channel, you are not privy to knowing that myself. Co-founders Chris and Jeff, we're big fans of Crocs. We do wear Crocs in our everyday use. Uh, we're, we're like, I'd say all the time. And Jeff's nodding in agreement with me. He wears his. We've done reviews of ours. So we've done the white classic Crocs and we've done the fire Crocs clogs. So check those reviews out. And more importantly, we have done the Slaky Benbury pods Crocs, which I'm going to allude to because of this model. So we have the Echo right here for you. We got this in the khaki colorway and uh, it's lightweight. I know very many of you are divided in regards to your opinions on Crocs, but take it from an avid Croc wearer, they're very comfortable. And many people agree. Um, I'm sure people in the comments will let you people know how comfortable they are. And I hope to, um, you know, convert these non-believers into believers of the croc. Um, going into the croc itself, so we're looking at the echo, and um, I want to give you my a take on why it's called the echo in one moment, but we'll look at the details of this uh, clock. So looking at the outsole, I mean, essentially it's an all EVA or croc-like foam, that's the whole body of the plug. And you can see the like traction pattern in there, you've got your Crocs logo also. And then on the upper, again, it's all one molded injected bone unit. Now, the reason why I was talking about the Echo and why the Pollux is a very, um, is quite important uh, to, to me, what I think, don't hold me to it, uh, but I believe that uh, Crocs were gonna lose Slay Memories uh, partnership, um, and that I mean those Crocs, the products are amazing. They look great, and this can be said is very much uh, inspired by it in regards to its kind of shape and how the look and the feel of it. I'm not even here to confirm or deny it. I don't know the details. This is just my take on why it's called the Echo because it echoes on the Pollux. If you get my drift. But you know, Slave Memory, if you're watching it, we, you, we know that you are. Let us know. And no, I love your work, man. Like, if you're watching, I do love your work. So, you know, the guys at Crocs also, if you want to send some Crocs our way, we're happy to accept. Um, anyway, so looking at the upper again, there's that injected mold there. And you've got space for gibbets. So those are the little charms that you can attach onto your Crocs. And then you've got a uh, separate footbed. Uh, unlike a lot of Crocs where it's just one unit, you can see a separate footbed there and it's dipped. You've got all the pattern there, you know, the orthopedic beads-esque there for you. And then you've got the strap right here. It's made out of uh, synthetic materials. You've got your nylon here. Also, it's there to keep your feet in check right there. And I don't know how people wear it. I usually wear my Crocs, you know, put the strap like that. But if you go in sport mode, you know, you're running or anything, doing anything adventurous, you want to put the in adventure mode, therefore you or sport mode, as it's commonly known on the Twitter universe. So that rounds off my review. I'm a big fan of this color as well. Like to me, the khaki 
uh, mushroom bone or whatever color like this there's a resurgence in this pastel tone in like this khaki I mean um, and you know you got your browns as well and I think it's a really dope colorway also comes in another range of colors so we've got atmosphere you've got black you've got storm it's dark blue but I wanted to keep it with this and very happy with this purchase now you're gonna watch me try these on so roll out footage of me trying these echo clogs on for you When it comes to the fit, guys, I recommend that you get the more true to size Crocs fit. I believe that I have a UK size 7. I mean, I know that I have a UK size 7 in the white ones. Uh, we've done a review one, so check that review out if you get a second. But it's the same kind of fit. They look great on. I feel like because it's brand new, um, it's just my feet are still getting used to the underside because um, the shape of the insole is very much different to the normal clog, um, the normal clog that I have, and the Sony memory ones. But no, these look really cool on. Got the back strap on for my support. I'm not gonna wear these as a normal clog, you know, with the uh, strap on the front. But these are really dope on as well. Really nice. Good job, Crocs. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end on TikTok and on Instagram. Until next time guys, peace.